Okay, y'all just seasoned my meat, so I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator to marinate for 15, 20 minutes, and then I will finish with my dinner. I know I really can't hold the camera <laughs> and stuff at the same time. Can y'all please give me? Don't cuss me out. Y'all really can't see everything, but I need to make sure that nothing doesn't stick to the pan. I love mushrooms, so I put mushrooms in mostly everything that we eat. Because it's like a good vegetable, everything. So I'm going to put the top on this and let this sever down. And add the steak in there, and then I'm gonna do my stuff on it. I'm gonna let it simmer, and I'm gonna turn the fire back down. I'm gonna let it simmer. Okay, my meat is done. Okay, this is the rice that I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna stir fry because it's already done. I'm just gonna add the onions and the green peppers and the mushrooms and stuff in it. Add me some oil and put it on the back oil and just let it simmer down and fry and keep stirring it so it doesn't stick. So, yes, let me put all of y'all in. And I'm gonna come back again once I put it on the stove and stir it down with some oil so it can start frying. Okay, my meat is done. My vegetables is done. My rice is. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Good morning. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. You know, I had a nice night last night. I edited a video. Um, I record a little bit of a cooking. Um, I'm actually going to add two videos together because they're short. I'm really not doing nothing, so we're going to be video put together. So, But right now, I'm up. I had me a cup of orange juice and... Trying to get my body right, my mind right, and stuff for the day. So, for me to do that, you know, and to stay, you know, to stay my focus and stuff, you know, I am going to take my depression pills today. I am going to take uh, my iron. I'm going to take a shot of tumeray for some energy boost, you know, keep my, my moon system up, <clears throat> uh, today, like I said, really going to be easy, I have this video I need to shoot, I mostly got everything ready, I just got to do my makeup, put my wig and stuff on. I set everything up, so I'm just waiting a little later, about 7 o'clock, and then I get up and do that video. But um, I'm going to make some ackee, some crawfish, and some karaloo for breakfast this morning. I just took the um, salt fish out, I'm letting it defrost for a little bit, and then I'm going to start boiling that fish down, because that one, that piece of fish that I, uh, I got is like mad, mad, mad salty. So I got to have to boil that a couple of times. So that's another reason why I'm up early. Because it takes time to boil that. To make sure a lot of the salt is out of it. 
So, you know, <clears throat> dinner was good last night. I ate half of my plate. I really didn't eat all my plate. It's something about when I'm drinking alcohol, I can't eat. Or if, when I wake up in the morning, I'll be sick. So I really didn't force myself to eat a lot last night. But I put something on my stomach. You know? So I didn't just go to bed hungry. Because remember I said it, if you notice. Sorry, y'all. In the other bit, part of the video, from yesterday, you hear me say I'm hungry, I'm hungry. But something about me, when I'm cooking, I can't eat right away. Like, I could serve anybody else, but after I cook, I have to sit down, relax for a minute, you know, and then I make me a plate. But for me just to get off the stove from cooking and just sit down and eat, I can't do it. So, you know, so after I relax a little bit, I got up and I ate my plate. <clears throat> I got up and ate my plate. So that was good. You know, like I said, I did put something on my stomach. Oh. I had to turn the fan on. Because me last night blocked up all the places that all the heavy coat air covering the house at. So with the heater on in the bedroom, you know, and I left my husband's bedroom door open last night. Cause I turned my heat off. Cause I can't sleep in heat. So, um, it, like it's stuffy. I woke up with a stuffy headache. So yeah, I turned the fan on a little bit. Cause I didn't want to open no window. Cause that's how I'm getting sick by opening up the window when I could just turn the fan on for like on low. You know, let the air, the heat, and stuff circulate around the house a little. Oh, I know I forgot one pair, but I didn't see it in here. That's why I didn't remind me to get it. Um, so I gotta get back up again. So you know, and just come along with me today. Just mostly, I'm gonna sit here, edit some more videos. I love how I edited that video last night. That came out nice. My computer updated itself, so it literally actually started, the um, apps and stuff started working good. So I'm happy for that. Hold on, y'all. Let me take these pills. And then I still got to get up and get two other pills. Give me a minute. Yeah, <clears throat> and then I went outside yesterday to run to the store real fast, and I forgot to put a hat on my head, so you know, so. Today is like, I really want to be positive. I'm keeping it in mind by the restroom that I'm not going to let nothing bring me down today. Or no one bad spirit mess with my spirit today. Sinus headache is really bothering me. Oh wow, my face ashy. It's just the light. Yo, the Prenton st squad, right? Her wife, his wife told me, M Melinda told me about this. Can y'all see it? And I love this. Like, it really, really helps my lips. Because I have really, really bad chaps lips in the wintertime. And it, my lips peel a lot. Real bad. 
And everybody be like, oh, it's because you don't drink a lot of water. And that's a damn lie, because I drink a lot of water. Shit, my house go through two cases of water a fucking week, and it's just me and my husband in this house. I drink water. <clears throat> Every time you walk around the house, you see a half-empty bottle of water. That's me, because I constantly pick up bottles of water, and I just drink them. So I, I'm, I know I'm, like, nicely dehydrated and stuff, so... That's not the problem. It's mostly all these pills that I be taking, too. It's mostly all them pills I be taking, too, that um, dry dry me out. So, like, uh, one of my pain pills, like, it's 800 milligrams, and it's supposed to take one every four hours or every five hours, something like that. And that dries you up, too. And then, you know, I drink gin, dry, dry gin. So that dried me up, too, a lot, too. So, you know, I'm okay. I'm highly blessed. God woke me up this morning. He gave me good energy, gave me good vibes, you know. I feel so, 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 I feel much better. That what been going on the last couple of weeks, I today I actually feel like myself, you know. I'm actually starting to feel like, okay, I'm coming out of my depression a lot. I started posting more TikToks. Um, I started sharing more on Instagram, you know, because I was always afraid that somebody was going to look at me the wrong way and stuff. But my motto this year, if you don't like me, stay the fuck off my page, <laughs> you know. I'm going to do me. I'm going to do what I feel like I want to talk about. And if you don't like it, I don't care. Um, I'm not, I don't care if somebody gives me bad reviews. I, to me, that's just telling me that you're going to keep coming to my channel because you want to you wanna have something to say, you know? So, hey. And I'm not a person that go outside every day. I'm always in the house. Y'all oh, oh, yeah, see me. Only time I really leave my house is to go to the doctor. So, <clears throat> that's really like, I'm mostly in a bonnet or pajama set or comfortable. Or I might just throw on a little outfit just to do a TikTok video or something like that. Um, but yeah, I feel good today. Uh, you know. I really have nothing to be, I have a lot to be sad about. I have a lot to want to break down to, but I'm not going to give it to my spirit. You understand? My spirit is telling me to stay positive. My mind is telling me to stay positive today. I'm going to do a self-care day. I need to do a face mask. I bought the avocado to do face masks. But I wanted to do it the other day. But when I make the face mask, I want to make enough for me and my husband, because he love he love his face. He love his 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 his, his time when I pamper him, you know. So I'm thinking about doing some um, pedicures today because my feet need to be done. And if my feet need to be done, I mean my husband's feet need to be done, you know. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do haircuts because I really got to cut that hair off his face because it is irritating me. So that's what I'm going to do. I was going to do it last night, but you know how you eat, you get niggeritis. That's what happened to me because I was feeling so good. I was up in the spirit. I edited the video. I did. I mean, like literally took my time and everything. And did it nicely and all that. So, that's one thing that I'm happy for. Like, I'm not going to break my spirit. And I'm telling anybody out there that's listening to this. And if you need, if you need for me to say this to you, don't let nobody bring you down. If they don't like the way how you're doing yourself or you carrying yourself, you understand? If it's not dangerous to yourself. And they just want to talk. Let them talk. Because my mama said words don't hurt. But as soon as you put your hands on me, bitch, you better wish you never did. <laughs> you know? So, it's one of them. Like, I really, I'm to the point, like, hey, I don't care. 
Oh yeah, my sinus is starting to open up. <laughs> there go my husband. Y'all hear that? That's my husband in the background. He just woke up. But yeah, I'm about to get ahead and start boiling this fish because it's five. It's five fifty now, five fifty a.m. in the morning. So I'm gonna start head boiling this fish so I can at least have breakfast by eight o'clock, nine o'clock. And I'll come back to y'all a little later. Day two. That's like another thing. Like I'm happy that people want me to start reviewing their stuff because I I don't mind doing it. You feel me? I have another jewelry company. I can't tell y'all about it, but as soon as the jewelry come in, I'm going to go ahead and review that jewelry because it looks nice. It's like really nice little um, things and stuff. So when that come in, I'm going to do that. But let's go ahead in the kitchen, y'all, and let's drink this orange juice. Oh, let me take my shot of tamarind. I be hating it, but it's so you need it. You really do. With this, with this sickness that's going on in this world nowadays, it's like you have to have tolerate in your system. And I hope my husband orders some more tolerate because I have no tolerate to cook with. And that's another thing that I'm upset with because I love tolerate in my damn food. Like I always, like I mix all my seasonings together. And then I just, um... I just mix all the season together and put it in a container. So when I'm ready to like season my meat, I just take a spoon of the seasoning and just put it in. Yeah. Look, there's not a lot of tolerance left. But I'm going to get me a shot in here today. I'm going to come back to y'all in a minute. I'm going to make a Instagram. Good morning, everybody. Thank y'all for watching this little video. Please go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my channel. I just uploaded a new video last night. Um, this morning, I'm highly blessed of waking up this morning because some people are not able to wake up this morning. Some people is sick this morning. I am praying for y'all and I'm keeping y'all in my, in my prayers. But for me to stay healthy, and not to get COVID and to stay safe. Yes, I am taking a shot of tamarind juice that I make or my husband makes. And take a shot every morning just to put the vitamins and stuff in my system to make sure that I don't get sick. So, I'm up this morning because I'm going to make some ackee and sawfish with some dumplings for breakfast today. And the saltfish. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to make some ackee and saltfish. But hold on, let me take this. Um, I'm making ackee and saltfish and dumplings for breakfast this morning. And... Please, everybody, if you can, you can go watch my video on YouTube, subscribe to my channel or something. Give me some likes. So, um, give me some support. Thank you. Making some dumplings. My saltfish is boiling. This is the second bowl. I'm about to cut up this stuff. And sit down and have a nice, good breakfast. That's what I'm about to do. Yo, I'm actually sitting here watching this YouTube family. She be wilding out the prank that she be playing on her husband. I thought they would have stopped playing pranks like this when they marriage almost broke up. But they each is on. Um, so yeah. I'm sitting here just cutting the stuff up. I done boiled the fish twice already. Let me pause that for a minute. Okay, so yeah, I done boiled the fish twice. I made the dumplings. I'm about to open up this can of kalalu and mix all this stuff together. I feel 
look, I need a fucking Motrin or a Tylenol. My head. I've been drinking nothing but orange juice. I'm about to start drinking some water in a minute. You can see that I ain't got my wig on or my makeup yet, so that means I didn't even add do that video yet. I'm about to let me just go ahead and feed my husband. Then he's gonna go back to sleep. I think I need to lay back down too. It's killing me, so. Trying to really get this shit. Once I cook, I'm not cooking tonight. I cooked. I was left over from breakfast. My job for the day. Or oh, just get some Chinese food or something. Because I don't feel like cooking. I really need this guy. Get these other two down. Baby, how is everybody Saturday? What are y'all doing for the day? Hope everybody's being safe and wearing a face mask, washing their hands, and if you go out, just be safe, really. Because I heard this new COVID that have your body sick for a whole year, you won't have the sick, you won't be symptomatic, but. Your body won't get back the same for a whole year. So, yeah. Everybody just stay safe out there. Really. I just really don't want nobody to be sick. Yeah. Love to cook, I love to cook, I love to cook. Oh, I got thinking about making big, not a big city, lasagna for Sunday dinner. But if I don't cook, I gotta cook tonight. No, tonight's Saturday. No, I don't cook tonight. I cook, I cook Sunday. Yeah, I'm thinking about making some lasagna. Yeah, those older clothes I gotta review. That's why my liver room look like that. <coughs> See, got my peppers, my onions, my scallions. I miss this stuff. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what happened just now. I just stopped recording. But yeah, I'm resting off the fish. 
I don't do them pop up. Why? Because it's different. I had to make room. There was no room. This is almost done. Oh, that's what I was doing. It is so time. Oh, here it go. It is so time for me to stack back up my cabinets.
Okay, y'all. <clears throat> Yo, baby. All right, I'm about to put the tops on this stuff and let it cook down. I can turn this back on off. Cause my dumplings are done. I don't believe I don't have cayenne pepper. I stay with cayenne pepper. <clears throat> oh, but you know what I do have? I think I still have a little bit. Yeah, it is later on. 
It's literally later on in the day. We ate good. You understand? But now I'm actually going to like grease my hair because my hair is dry and I'm not going to take it. The TV in the background, y'all. I'm sorry. Give me one minute. Okay, everybody. Yeah, I had to turn the TV down a little bit. But, um, today's actually grease my hair because my hair is dry. And I hate when they get dry like that. When they dry up like that, it breaks out real, real bad. Yeah. Um, I need to actually go to my store and get me some more hair grease because I'm actually out of hair grease. Hands down, this is really literally the only hair grease I use. The Vic, um... I don't know if y'all can really see it. It's all squeezed up. It's the African grease that you can't literally touch your face or your eyes and stuff after you grease your hair. Because it, um, literally, like, breaks you, um, not break you out, but burn your eyes and, and stuff, so... That is literally them taking each braid out, freezing all the ends all the way down. Because I cold washed it yesterday when I was in the shower. The day before yesterday when I was in the shower, I cold washed it. So, ooh. So, you know, just trying to grease it so it don't break out. So I'm literally just going to do one braid at a time and take my time because I want my hair to grow this year. I really don't want it to break. And I'm watching How to Get Away with Murder. That is crazy. Like, I've, I've seen the beginning so many times, but you know how you actually start to see your shows and you go all the way back to the beginning and you find out more stuff that you really didn't pay attention to? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And it literally had me and my husband stuck in the living room all day. So, that's one day. So that's what we're doing. I'm actually gonna sit here and just grease this hair because I don't want my hair to break out and I'm hot. Yeah, I still got the fan going. My um, air for my you need more water. I need to get up. Actually, I want to clean the whole air for my tonight today before I even plug it back up. That's why I didn't plug it. I have water to it because I need to clean the deposits and everything. So. Sorry. Mostly what I'm doing is just squeezing my roots and everything. So when it start to sweat, it doesn't stink, but it still has the oil. And it won't break my hair out because I'm so tired of my hair breaking. I'm so, so, so tired. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a person that keep taking braids out and re-braiding them. 
and I get that bad habit from my best friend. Cause that bitch will have box braids and, and literally, if she see one spot out of thing, she will literally re-braid the whole hair. But me, I only literally braid when I see a lot of new growth. But today is like literally Saturday, so it's grease my scalp and grease the hair. Not too much that close up my, my pores, but just enough that it looks, you know, better. See how it looks now? It look how it looks now. You know? So, yeah. That's what I'm doing today. Trying to get the hair more back natural. My hair is actually natural because I haven't perm my hair. Because I didn't perm my hair for my birthday because I had a, a wig on for my birthday. So, yeah, I haven't perm my hair in two years. Yep, two years. And I cut the ends off. I mean, it was like about right here. But I cut all the dead ends off. So now it's like right here. Because I'm so saying by the end of the year, it should be touching about right here. As long as I keep cold washing, keeping it in the braids, and just keep rebraiding it. You know, grease the scalp and everything. The end of the month, I'm going to do a um, thing to it, a mask. I need like five more things that I really want to get. See? Because it's, it's so dry. So, yeah. Just want to make sure my scalp is dry. All good and doing the best that he can because I really don't want my hair to break out. I want it to grow. Like right now, I see this. That's going to irritate me. Or dead hair that need to go so it could grow in natural this year. That's one thing I want is natural hair. I love my wigs. I will wear my wigs every day. But I just want to make sure that my hair is being treated. You feel me? Because some people put them wigs on and put them braids that go straight to the back. And they not getting cold showers and then they washing the wigs with their hair under it. That's another good reason. It's not good. Like it has to actually dry. So um yeah. I and then my scalp is funny too. Once I start to um sweat and itch, like literally I will pull the wig off if it's glued down. That's just me. So I'm a person that I can actually just do a wig every day. You see the difference from when before? Yeah. See how all oh, this look dry? I can't take that. It just needs some moisturizer and braiding back down. So that's what I'm about to sit here and do. And I actually take a break because my hand is killing me. But yeah. I'm going to grease my scalp, braid it back down, and have some good braids for the week, you know? Something healthy. And tell you no lie, I still feel the tingling. As I braid it, my scalp is breathing and it's tingling.
because this hair grease right here is a tingling hair grease. It got peppermint and everything in it, so it helps your hair. show you one more and then I will show you the finished product once I'm done because this is not a five minute job this is like a hour and a half job on my hand especially when I'm doing it yeah it's gonna be an hour and a half so I'm gonna show you one more Yeah, I have the grease on. I squeeze the, the grease out onto my thing. So that's what I keep touching down here. Like it's easier for me. I said to keep squeezing it. So easy for me just to take a little piece, part, take a little piece, take, you know. I'm tell you a lot of my hands getting cramped. This is why I say it's two hour job. Because I have to take breaks. I can tell you my hair is getting the peppermint and it feels so comfortable. So, so, so comfortable. So I need to start from the back. Because everything goes from here on. Maybe. Because yeah, you're going to go to the back. Just. Make all this one. One big one. But I'm going to come back to y'all later. I'm turning my TV back up. I'm going to enjoy my TV. And my hands need a break too. So I come back to y'all when it's all done. But yes, I am starting to go strong here. 
Love y'all. Stay safe and keep God in your life. I'm waiting on my husband to come out here and help me record this 